Hey everyone, this is Komal here from EnglishWise and today I have got someone very special with me, Shruti, who is a star of the day because she has got guys amazing scores in her PT. She got perfect 90 overall with perfect 19 listening, perfect 19 reading, speaking 90 and writing 90. It's a wow score literally Shruti and first of all, heartiest congratulations to you and that you have made such a big achievement feeling really proud of you so i would really Thank like to so congratulate much. you from entire team of english files so tell me how you feel about this 90 as score on your report oh my god so <laughs> overwhelmed so joyous you know uh, i i wouldn't celebrate this much even if i would have lagged by one or two points i'm like oh perfect yes. 90 in everything okay what well, this is something to be yes. celebrated and to be shared with so it's yeah, a dream it's come true and thank you so much yeah so actually i think uh, you deserve it so shruti want to ask you first of all what is the success mantra behind that okay tell me if you uh, want to take one word what actually contribute towards your success uh hard work yeah at the same time associated with smart work yes so it's well not just hard work all the time because it's a computer you have to act smart mm -hmm. and follow the simple tips and tricks I know uh, everyone out there must not be like, you know, like uh, a linguistic or, you know, like so pro at speaking yeah. English and everything. But it does make a big difference when you follow the right tips and tricks. That's right, I think. Because there is a lot of information outside and there are too many templates, there are too much information. But you exactly need to know what actually works best for you, how to perform the particular test in a certain way and that works. And Shruti, you have given the exam with us in 2019 as well, right? So you, yes. at that time you was preparing for your nursing registration, am I right? So you were just exactly. aiming for seven each and now you have given the exam for your PR, right? And yeah. tell me, like, did you make any change into the strategies that the one that you was using at that time and the one that you have used now? Uh, I have used exactly the same strategies that yeah. you guys have taught. The only difference is, uh, you know, whenever I used to find time at work, at home or whenever, like, yes. I always used to practice reading. I always used to practice reading and writing, mm -hmm. fill in the blanks and reading, fill in the blanks. And later on, uh, I started, uh, you know, not look at the options, but just read it. And the more you practice, the more familiarized you get. And that's it. Nothing. Yes, actually practice makes you more confident and perfect as well because when you solve so many questions, of course, it gives you inner confidence that okay, now what comes next should be fine, right? So, well, yeah. I think um, most of the students, Shruti, they are worried about their repeat sentences and dictation. So, any tips for them ki how to tackle both of these questions? Okay, uh, I used to practice like good number almost like every day. Mm -hmm. To be honest, I gave my strict dedication and practice for about two weeks to 10 days and not more than that. That's but whenever right. I used to do that, uh, when you're listening to a repeat sentence, for example, yes. if you listen to a sentence, try and break it into two parts. That's what I always do. And I always like repeat after the speaker, you know, they mm -hmm. repeat and then keep that in my mind. And if something doesn't work, I put some other words to make it like a whole sentence of myself. And the mm -hmm. more you practice, you wouldn't be forgetting the sentence easily. You can remember it from 75 to 100% very easily. Okay. And uh, the same with right from dictation. I always used to take the initials of every word. And uh, if you just miss one word, doesn't matter. You can rephrase or recheck the whole sentence. And whatever you feel like it's relevant, just try and put it. Don't waste your time. Move on to the next question. That was, I think, wonderful suggestion and tips for both of these modules. Um, also, I want to ask you, like, uh, usually students think that to get a perfect 90 score exam needs to be also perfect, right? Means uh, a student should have attempted all the questions very well in their exam. So, I want to ask you exactly that uh, when you attempted your actually Pearson exam, were you expecting this score? Did anything happen in the exam or you have made certain mistakes in that how was your exam day yeah 
So you guys know that uh, with this COVID restrictions on, I had yes. to give the exam with a face mask on. Yes. And I didn't knew till I went to the test center. I okay. went there and she was like, oh, you have to put your face mask on. And first thing, like, should I give the exam or not? Is it going to interrupt with my speaking? Mm-hmm. I rang my mom. I'm like, should I give the exam? She gets like, you went in there, you prepared, just sit the exam. That's okay. It. And then I was like, okay, it shouldn't be a barrier. And then I went in and even when I was doing the first thing, the read aloud in reading, I was yes. like one or two known words. Mm-hmm. And then I was like, I just didn't think about the ones that I've lost. I was like, I do have like five or six more. Okay, whatever has gone, I'm going to leave it behind. I'm going to start fresh with the others. And that's it. And I did know that I haven't done any other mistakes because okay. I was like, you know, I was asking my heart, don't race. Just yeah, even though some of the things went here and there, but still you have that confidence that, okay, you are sitting in the exam, you have to complete it. Just give your best, guys. It's not about yeah. only two or three things uh, you just missed here and there. And then afterwards, you just demotivate yourself. You know, you're not going to get the points. So though she makes a mistake, but the score is in front of us that she make a perfect 90. Uh, was there anything difficult for you, Shruti, while you was preparing for your exam? Any particular module where you struggle most? Um... I'll tell you because uh, last time when I gave, I yeah. got like nine bands and three of them except yes. reading. reading. So reading is my biggest fear. Okay. To be honest, I always fear of reading. Though, you know, though you're good at English or though you know grammatically English yes. well, there's like particular things that you need to focus because every single option seems to be appropriate. Yeah. And even the person who is like so good at language or who even who is guessing, Sometimes it doesn't work. So try and read the front and the last or try and like skim or just give an overview of the passage. I know time is very important, but even in reading, for some things I took a bit of longer time, but for one or two other questions, I felt like they have been repeated or somewhere I have done them before. Done that one. So it was all like, it was just holding my breath and thinking like, oh, Best is yet to come. Just do it it. and touch it. I think that was good. I think the strategy that you opted. It's not like that, guys. You're going to get every question very difficult. So if you have got, uh, um, let's say, one question easy, try not to spend too much time on that so that you can save a bit of time and you can spend on the difficult question rather, right? So I think it's really wonderful experience, uh, Shruti, that you have shared with all of us. It's going to motivate a lot of students out there. And at last, I would just, to want to ask you any last words for all the students that how they can get such a commendable scores like you yes believe yourself <laughs> never think to give up just yes. just give it and trust me even if you lose it by one or two marks i've always heard from komal like telling other students like just schedule your exam just in yes. a week's time and give it with that because you'll have that flow and you're not repeating anything new. And one important thing that I always did is if you're weak at one particular model, say for example, like uh, reading, yes. I was re- weak at reading in saying that I didn't get all 90. So I used to focus on what are the other transferable scores. For example, summarize written text is also giving some marks to reading. Reading module, yes. Highlight incorrect words is giving some marks towards reading. So if I lose at one place, I used to always focus on the other place where I could grab 100%, which could compensate for one or two marks lost. And that's it. I think you have it's a very really really uh, articulate approach towards PT as well. Just not focusing on the problems, guys. Try to focus on the solutions as well, right? So if you are weak in reading, do not think that okay filling the blanks are not correct okay you are not going to get the score it's not about the one thing you have the transferable scores so definitely i would say focus on the other things as well which gives you transferable scores right so absolutely right shruti so thank you so much shruti today uh, for sharing your wonderful experience with all of us we are really grateful to you and wish you all the best for your life ahead hope you achieve much more than that always Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And yeah, thank you so much. (laughs) And lovely to see you and have a bit of chat with you.